get that. I'm Shayla Lafay. Feel free to call me that or simply Sierra. I wanted to make this video really quickly because I get a lot of comments asking about how I keep my ends um, looking pretty thick and healthy without constant trims. If you are new to my channel, I think I've gotten my hair maybe trimmed once professionally since I started my YouTube two years ago. But yeah, I'm still able to retain length and keep my ends looking pretty nice and flourishing and no say mas palabras que quiero usar. So I just wanted to share these tips with you guys. Number one, number one, number one thing I make sure to do is to be gentle with my ends, especially because I know it's the weakest point of my hair. Uh, I really baby them and whenever I'm putting my um, moisturizer on there and my oil, I really make sure that I'm lavishing and getting my hair soaked in all of the product that I'm trying to apply on there. Which leads me into my next point, which is making sure that I moisturize my hair daily for the most part. When I first wash my hair the first couple of days I don't like to put any moisture or anything on there because I like to let the natural oils from my scalp see through but as soon as three days are up about um, I am heavily putting on my moisturizer. I have a video linked right here with my nighttime routine about how I actually moisturize my hair um, and then I will have the products that I use linked down below. So along with moisture I also make sure to do a protein treatment once a month um, because protein helps to really make my ends stronger my hair in general stronger so I will link a video right here of how I do my protein treatment and then I'll link the product that I use down below. Next thing I make sure to do is to set a really wide range of time on wash day. I think the number one mistake I used to make when I was first trying to teach myself how to heat train my hair is that I was trying to rush through my hair. Uh, you cannot do that. I have a video right here where I show you guys step by step how I heat train my hair and it takes a lot of time to make sure that I'm doing it properly to try to minimize heat damage as much as possible. Not only do you have to constantly let your hair sit under a hooded dryer multiple times, but you also have to take your paddle brush and take your time when you're brushing and getting your tangles out of your hair and not just trying to hurry up and speed through the process. I try to give myself four to six hours to do the whole um, curly to straight hair. The next thing I try to do is try to keep my ends off of my clothing when I am at home or I'm not wearing my hair down. So I will put, go ahead and just put my hair in a bun or I'll try to clip it up into a high ponytail but just making sure that my hair isn't rubbing on different fabrics helps a lot with minimizing hair breakage. Now even though I do not really get my hair trimmed, even though I really need to get my hair trimmed, uh, what I do try to do is do some dusting to my ends. I'm going to make an updated video of how I dust my hair probably uh, within the next couple weeks and I would say I dust my hair twice a year but it's literally just me basically taking a centimeter off the ends but I don't really do too much dusting or trimming up my hair and that's what I feel like helps to really grow it but if you're really taking care of your ends and making sure that they're moisturized and not doing too much manipulation with them you don't really have to do too many trims. One of the next big things that really really helps is my diet. Now when my body is getting its full nutrients the excess is able to go into the hair because my body has been taken care of but when your body is not even getting what it needs to survive it can't give accurately to everywhere it needs to go i don't know how to explain myself in this point but hopefully you get what i'm trying to say but basically when you're eating your fruits vegetables whole grains etc and making sure that you're getting your vitamins and minerals then that really helps to maintain the health of your hair from the inside out. And alongside diet is drinking water. I try to drink at least five bottles a day and that really helps to bring moisture from the inside out and it also helps with your skin and just your overall well-being. And the last point I make is also going to contribute to moisture. If you haven't gotten anything from this video it is moisture, 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 moisture because when you're putting a lot of heat on your hair to train it it's very prone to breakage because of dryness so you want to really do a moisture overload. What I like to do every night is sleep with a humidifier and that puts more moisture onto my hair every night and also my skin but yeah again moisture 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 is the key to really having nice healthy thick ends without having to constantly do a bunch of trims. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see how I dust my ends because I'll be uploading a video about that pretty soon. And also if you want to see more content about heat trained hair, be sure to thumbs up this video because it helps me so much. And until the next video. I want to thank me for doing all this hard work.